Thank the gentleman. I now recognize the gentleman from Maryland, Mr. Raskin, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to uh, thank Mr. Buck for that excellent line of questioning and for the upcoming legislation. I look forward to, to joining that. Um, we, we want, um, you know, in the 19th century, we had the robber barons. In the 21st century, we got the cyber barons. Um, and we want to make sure that the extraordinary power and wealth that you've been able to amass uh, is not used against the interests of democracy and human rights around the world uh, and uh, not against the interests of a free market at home. So, Mr. Bezos, um, let me turn to you. Um, I'm interested in the role that you play as a, as a gatekeeper. Uh, a lot of consumers want to know when the HBO Max app will be available on your Fire device, and I understand that negotiations are ongoing, but that um, your company is not only asking for financial terms, but also for content from Warner Media. Uh, is that right, and is that a fair way to proceed? In other words, is it fair to use your gatekeeper status role in the streaming device market to promote your position as a competitor in the video streaming market with respect to content? Uh, I'm not familiar with the details of those negotiations. As you said, they're underway right now. Uh, I predict that the companies will eventually come to an agreement. And I think this is kind of uh, two large companies negotiate agreements, kind of normal case of normal right. commerce. Right. But and here, here's why I pursue it precisely because it is a large company. And in a way, uh, they stand in for hundreds of thousands of much smaller companies who are even in a more disadvantageous position with respect to negotiating with you. I guess the, the general proposition then you can speak to if you don't know the details of this, which is, is it okay to negotiate not just for financial terms in having someone um, uh, be part of your, uh, your FIRE uh, unit, um, but also to try to uh, extract in that negotiation leverage with respect to getting content from them? Well, again, I'm not familiar with the details. What I would I'm not say asking is, about that one in that general. In general, in general, I think that when two companies are negotiating, you are negotiating not just the the, the amount of money that's going to change hands, but also what you're going to get in exchange for the amount of money. That is a very fundamental uh, way that business works. Do you see you at least to, to third? Do you out. see at least to outsiders that would look like a structural conflict of interest? Like you're using your control over access to people's living rooms, essentially. You're using that in order to obtain leverage in terms of getting uh, creative content that you want. And do, are you essentially converting power in one domain into power in another domain where it doesn't belong? I think what I should do is offer to get you information. If you, I'll, I'll, I'll get it to your office for you because I'm not enough, I'm not familiar enough with this. And I could imagine that there would be scenarios if we're just talking in the abstract where it would be inappropriate. And I could imagine scenarios where it would be very normal okay. business and, and very appropriate. Fair enough. Um, I want to talk about uh, an emerging market, smart homes. And I want to start with the hub of the smart home, smart speakers. Uh, does Amazon price the Echo device below cost? Uh, it, not its list price, but it's often on promotion. And it, it, sometimes when it's on promotion, it may be below cost, yes. Well, several other companies did tell us, in fact, that Amazon is pricing Echo uh, devices way below cost, making it nearly impossible for them to compete um, and uh, aggressively discounting Alexa-enabled speakers as a strategy to own the smart home. Like many markets we've heard about today, smart speakers with voice assistants like Alexa, along with the myriad of smart home appliances that Alexa can interact with, make up the next ecosystem or platform for tech companies to lock in customers. Would you say the smart home market for which the Echo Ring security system and other smart devices operate is a winner's take all market? Yes or no? No, I wouldn't, especially if, we, uh, if we're if we able to succeed at what we want, which is um, we would like, our, our, our vision for this is that uh, smart home speakers should answer to different uh, wake words. So, well, it, you know, when the, considering the acquisition of on a case by case basis, and I think in that, just to, you know, I think it's important, if we could achieve that, 
um, then I think you would get really good uh, behavior on the part of you know okay. competitive voice agents helping you. When you when you were looking at acquiring Ring, you wrote to your executive team, "quote We're buying market position, not technology, and that market position and momentum is very valuable." Um, so if smart homes are not a market with lock-in effects, why would a leading market position and momentum be so very valuable? Uh, sir, market position is, is valuable in almost any business, and it's one of the primary things that one would look at in an acquisition. There, there are multiple reasons that we might buy a company. Sometimes we're trying to buy um, some technology or some IP. Sometimes it's a talent acquisition. But the most common case is market position, that the company has traction with customers, they've built a service, maybe they were the first mover. There could be any number of reasons why they have that market position. But that's a, a very common reason to acquire a company. Well, once a company becomes dominant in a market, it can favor its own products and services. Alexa-enabled smart speakers make up over 60% of the smart speaker uh, market. Mr. Bezos, when I ask Alexa to play my favorite song, Prime Music is the default music player, is that right? If you're, I think that's true if you're a Prime member, yes. Um, and a New York Times report found that when users say, Alexa, buy batteries, Alexa responds, would you like to buy AA Amazon basic batteries? Um, so has Alexa ever been trained to favor Amazon products when users shop by voice? The time of the gentleman has expired, but the witness may answer the question. I, I, I don't know if it's been trained in that way. I'm sure there are cases where we, we do promote our own products is of course a common practice in business, and I, you know, so it wouldn't surprise me if Alexa sometimes does promote our own products. Thank you, and I yield back.